Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking. Today I'm gonna share with you a personal experience from my uh, childhood. I used to live in a really, really dangerous area. I lived in the most dangerous area of Palermo. I was born in the year 1985 and until I was 13 years old, I lived in a place called Zen, which stands for um, the fur furthest north area, the furthest north zone. And it is well known in Palermo to be the most dangerous area. My dad didn't have a stable job till I was 13. And um, he tried so many different types of jobs. He was a builder. He was a um, seller. He worked, especially one of his best jobs, I would say, he worked as an ambulance driver. So basically he joined the army for a while and he used to work as a, an ambulance driver. He was very skilled in his job. He knew how to secure people in need. Uh, so he knew all the techniques from first aid. And, and since he was very close to doctors, he knew all of the techniques, you know, he knew how to uh, treat a patient, treat a heal patient, you know. So he was very busy with this work, but he never had a stable job till I was 13 years old. So he's been struggling a lot in his life. He is not very educated, he didn't have a uh, high school diploma. He wasn't educated enough to uh, get a better job so he had to do whatever he found my mother was a housewife and uh, she was an amazing mom and she's an amazing mom uh, she always cooked for us she always prepared food and I remember that we were having some really really hard times and remember my dad is a really good cook and my mom as well but although my dad is even better than my mom and he used to cook lots of things my parents taught me good morals Especially, I had to, uh, every day I had to face a different environment and every day I would, you know, realize that all the principles that my parents would teach me, um, they weren't uh, applicable in that specific society, in that specific area and place. So I would say as a teenager, uh, even younger than that, my main occupation, of course, as a child will be playing all the time. And so as an Italian, I love soccer or football in England, you know. I love soccer so much that I will play soccer every day. And I will play something like two, three hours a day. So I will go to school in the morning, then I will come back home and do my homeworks really, really fast, really, really quick. And then I will go back into um, playing football, playing soccer all the time. I used to love um, being an attacker, you know, and uh, it was so much fun. It was so fun, it was really sociable. I think I've gained most of my people skills playing in the fields, playing actually not in the field because we didn't have any fields. We played on the road. I remember that. I remember that we used to uh, gather stones to uh, make a post. And so you, we would shoot in between the stones in order to score. Uh, that was great fun and uh, whenever you would fall down on the floor you would bruise your legs you would be like bleeding and that was crazy usually I would just uh, be fine but sometimes I used to fall down on the floor and hurt myself in fact I remember one one time I really hurt myself really badly just because I fell fell off after somebody made me stumble I hurt my hands and fingers and that was really really painful that was really bad but I used to score a lot, I used to have a lot of fun and I used to enjoy the physical activities with my friends because I made friends. My parents weren't happy with me because I was playing all the time and so I was downstairs. This area is really uh, ran away, you know, it's, um, it looks like a ghost, a ghost city, like a, a ghost village or something and there are not many people. My parents were homeless people and my grandparents, both of them, really helped us out during our you know, hard times. There was a lottery in, in the area, so we, people would play 
they would buy tickets for I don't know one two euros although back in the days we didn't have euros and then there was this guy with this uh, big microphone and he would announce the the winner the winning number and and then people would earn something like 1,000 euros just you know in this lottery and so many people would, would play and whenever somebody would win they would say the name of the winner so they would say I don't know uh, Jerry from the first uh, from number seven um, won the prize and so everybody knew who was the winner and so people would gamble a lot and they would uh, also gamble on uh, soccer games you know on football games all the time and prostitution was a big thing and uh, it is a big thing to this day many prostitutes work inside their houses and so I remember that when I where I lived it was a prostitute and she had a daughter and she was so beautiful it was a beautiful daughter I remember that her and her cousin would be kicked out of the house whenever a client would come up and and then after a while after soon the guy would be gone the girls were allowed to come back inside their house you now you can imagine me being a child back in the days and I was like just witnessing all these bad things but there was nothing I could do because I was a child and because if you speak uh, you could get killed or something because you have to mind your business this is something uh, that my parents did they always mind their business they were nice to the neighbors so there were so many fights fighting was something common and so I began practicing karate with my brother and I apply these techniques into my life and I I was stronger I was more confident and the people who knew that I was a karateka the people who knew that I was actually practicing karate they would notice it and they would you know they would stay away from me although you know they were still ready to fight at any time but th the interesting thing is that we weren't fighting as much as with ourselves but we were you know it was very common to pick on a guy for example on the road in another from another area and then you know fight against him or something as children we would fight a lot but at some point we would become friends good friends and so and also now as we grew up and, and I moved I moved when I was 13 and uh, most people actually changed their lives and most of these you know children now have families with children and they are living a good life or at least they are living a an okay life still living in that area still living in that place that's when I started to be interested in music so I began to be interested in music since I was 10 years old. My dad used to have a guitar and I just took this guitar. I would just sneak in and get the guitar and just trying to improvise something on the guitar and play the guitar on one string only. And I would just play along and uh, I, I used to have and I still have a good ear so I would just listen to a song and I would just do it on the guitar. Uh, of course only one chord only 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 one string <clears throat> uh, for one of my birthdays my parents bought me a uh, keyboard very small keyboard that I do have here again I have it now but I can't show it to you because I don't know where I put it but I do have this keyboard somewhere and this is a really cool piece and I'm really jealous of it and I started playing with this keyboard as well by ear and I would I was able to reproduce any song I would listen to and that was very interesting. I used to sing a lot and we used to have the karaoke and I love music and to this day of course you can you can tell I love music and I've grown up since since then I've grown up so much and I have improved and I have to still improve I want to improve and become a better pianist and a better musician as well and singer why not. Life in that place wasn't easy at all but you know that was a great experience of my life and I wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching and remember if you feel sad you better call Sal bye